Hey guys, I'm Kat. Welcome back to my channel, Catadactyl. Today I'm going to be talking about my most anticipated releases for May and June. And there are some great ones coming up that I cannot wait to get to. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into them. Oh, and if you have any to recommend me which are coming out, please do let me know. Coming out May 3rd is The Surface Breaks by Louise O'Neill, who is an Irish writer. So in this one, we follow Gaia, who is a young mermaid swimming off the coast of Ireland. She has lived beneath the sea her whole life and is basically forbidden from breaking the surface until a certain birthday. On the day that she gets to break the surface, she sees a human boy and really becomes intrigued and enthralled by him, and the story goes from there. I've heard that this is a feminist retelling of The Little Mermaid, and I just love like retellings overall, Peter Pan, The Little Mermaid. Um, I recently read To Kill a Kingdom, which is a Little Mermaid retelling as well, so of course I am going to read The Surface Breaks, and I am really into it. It's been all over booktube, so I think you probably know that one, but I am definitely highly anticipating it. So also coming out May 3rd is The Insomnia Museum, written by Lori Canciani, who is a Welsh writer. So in this one we follow Anna, who lives in her flat with her father. And over the past 17 years, they have built up a labyrinth of things inside their apartment, newspapers, TV, basically just the accumulation of a life of 17 years. And as she has built this home and these canyons in her own apartment, um, sound and smells have infiltrated their apartment from the outside world of which Anna has never been a part of. So the dogs barking in the hallway, music from neighbors nearby, the sounds of traffic, are all things she has heard about but she's never experienced herself. Until one day when her father doesn't wake up and Anna is forced to go out into the inside world which is so much scarier than the world that she has known her entire life. So I think that this book is going to be really engrossing. I've never read a book about extreme hoarding before so I think that it will be a really interesting topic to delve into and I'm highly anticipating it. Okay and coming up May 8th is Artificial Condition, which is Murderbot Diaries number two by Martha Wells, an American writer. And I'm so anticipating this one. Oh my gosh, I cannot even wait for it. It is so amazing. So I recently read um, All Systems Red, which is the first in the Murderbot series, Murderbot Diaries series, and it is just so good. So we follow a Murderbot who was programmed to basically murder. <laughs> And the murder bot has hacked the system so that it doesn't have to follow the system orders. And it is a real look at um, what makes a machine a machine and what makes a human a human. And the way that murder bot talks is just so amazing. Murder bot just doesn't give a fuck, honestly, like about a lot of things. Like I laughed so hard at sometimes. It was like, you may have noticed that things have down spiraled. You also may have noticed that I don't care. And it was just like, same. Same word about Satan. Like, a lot of things, it just wants to watch, it's like trash TV, and it doesn't want to like do the certain like work things that it has to do. Um, so like when the government keeps pinging it with like things and upgrades, it's like, no, nah, I'm gonna like shelve that for later and watch this trash TV instead. And I'm like, Live your life, Murderbot. You do you. So the first one was so amazing. I gave it four and a half stars, and I am highly anticipating the second one. Um, I believe that each one is a, a short story or novella, so I really burned through it quickly, and I highly recommend the first one. Um, you should read it before the second one comes out and jump on that train, because it's so good. So the next one I want to talk about comes out May 24th, and it's Motherhood by Sheila Hetty, a Canadian author. In this one, she examines why people have children or not, and what you lose and what you gain from motherhood. Um, and as it ties into femininity and what it means to be a woman and the role in society that you have, and these are things that have really intrigued me since being married and keep um, people keep asking me, when are you going to have kids? Um, I'm sure that everyone who's been married like has been asked that. And it just seems so tied to being the woman in the relationship that um, it's kind of been something that I've been wanting to read more and more about. And the next one that I want to mention is probably my most highly anticipated book of these two months. And it is Lifelike by Jay Kristoff, who is an Australian author. And I'm just going to read you the blurb because holy F, if this doesn't sound like the best thing you've ever heard, I don't know what does. 
So, it's Romeo and Juliet meets Mad Max meets X-Men with a little bit of Blade Runner cheering from the sidelines. If that doesn't just tick all of my boxes, I don't know what does. So, we follow Eve, who builds robot gladiators to fight. Um, except the only problem is that hers just got beat to shit. And she just lost all her money, which was paying for her grandpa's medical bills. Um, so she has a huge problem. And she also has found out she has the power to control technology. So the Brotherhood is after her in building a coffin in her exact body size. And then she's going to set off on an adventure with her best friend, Lemon Fresh, and also her um, cyborg sentience when she finds a boy in the rubbish bin who is an android and they set off on this adventure together. Wow. That is everything I love all together. Like, oh man, robot gladiator and android boy and a badass female main character and controlling technology and I just, I just can't. I just want this book so bad. Um, I saw the, I think it was the arc for it, and it had that blurb like down the front, and I was like, yes, give it to me, please. So I'm so excited about that one. Um, I cannot wait for it. And it comes out May 29th. I don't know if I already mentioned that, but May 29th, I'm so here for it. And oh my gosh, I wish I lived in Australia because then I could just buy it like and have it in my hands like the day it came out. Um, yeah, but I'm so excited and you should buy it, you should read it, and we should all just talk about it together. So yeah. <laughs> so the next book that I'd like to talk about comes out June 5th and it is Sweet Black Waves by Christina Perez, an American author. So in this one, we follow um, Branwen, who is guided by two principles, devotion to her country and hatred for the raiders who killed her parents. And she unknowingly saves the life of her sworn enemy, and he awakens in her a magic power. And this is actually a retelling of Tristan and Isolt, and the reason why this jumped to the top of my TBR most anticipated list is because the author has a PhD in medieval lit from University of Cambridge. So I think that she knows what she's talking about, and the blurb says it is a historical, very lush story of forbidden romance, and I'm so here for it because I love it if it's done well, so I'm really looking forward to it, and I cannot wait. Forbidden romance, yes! <laughs> so the last book that I'd like to talk about also comes out June 5th, and it is The Bird and the Blade by Megan Bannon, an American author. So The Bird and the Blade is a retelling of the opera Turandot about a young slave who falls in love with their master. So as a slave, Jingwa lost everything, her home, her family, and she is escaping, and her path coincides with the Prince Caliph who is also running away um, and escaping with his father. And as they're going on this adventure together, um, she starts to fall in love with him. However, he is trying to gain the hand of a princess of a nearby kingdom who makes people answer three riddles before she will think about marrying them. And if he fails the three riddles, he will die. So I think that this could be an amazing novel, um, but it sounds like it's also very harried and very um, kind of a road trip novel with um, options of sudden death along the way. Um, and I've never seen the opera, although I saw that that is what it's obviously referencing. So for me, it will be a totally new experience, um, uninhibited by any previous knowledge. We have reached the end of my most anticipated list. I hope that you see something here that you would like. Um, for me, it's definitely lifelike. I want to read that book so bad. It, oh my gosh. Um, I seem to be on a real um, like AI android kick lately, like The Murderbot Diaries and The Mad Scientist's Daughter, and then I also read Heart of Iron recently, so it's just like all the android goodness. Um, yeah, so let me know which of these you're anticipating, or if you have any others coming out uh, May or June that you think I would like, I would really love that. Um, the day is sunny and it's so nice and we're gonna go um, do some errands today, and I hope that you're having a lovely day no matter where you are, um, and I will chat to you later. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up or hit the subscribe button, it would really mean a lot, and I will see you later. Toodles! <laughs> Bye!